It was just a regular day at lunch. But then, tragedy occurred. <coughs> I know it's safe, so I take charge of the situation and head over to my friend. I suspect no head or neck injuries, so I put him in a better position. I just saw my friend pass out after eating food at a restaurant. I waved my hand in front of him to assess him. He is, he is completely unresponsive. So I assume consent and put him into a recovery position to protect his head. I asked the waiters to call 911 and get help. His airway seems to be blocked. His breathing is very irregular and his skin color is quite pale. Because my friend, the casualty is unconscious, it is quite hard to obtain information. But I know that he is not reaching the 10 to 20 breaths per minute mark. So I asked the waiters to ask 911 whether I should administer CPR. Quickly, I give my friend two cycles of CPR consisting of 30 compressions and two rescue breaths. He seems to be regaining consciousness. I better put him into shock position soon. As my friend regains consciousness, I put him into shock position and reassure him by putting a blanket over him. After, I ask him about his medical history and figure out that this has never happened before. I continue to monitor my friend and reassure him. His airway is much clearer, his breathing is much better, and his skin paleness is almost gone. He's doing a lot better. I continue to take notes of the events as paramedics begin to enter the room. I tell them what I know about the casualty. I might have just well saved my friend's life. <laughs> 